adults, the purple weed, it almost looks like kelp, but smaller. Most of the leaves are eight to 12 inches long and they grow in a group and there'll be pockets of it here and there. They like attaching to rocks. The best time to get it is on a full moon tide because the further the tide comes in, the further it goes out. So that delts is underwater longer, so it's the better stuff. And then of course you gotta have a good drying day that day or the next day after you pick it to make sure it dries well. Like you can see where water's kind of sitting in pockets and stuff, there'll be a run with a high spot. And in that run is usually where the delts all grows. My family used to do it. And of course I acquired a taste for it. The whole community would go out every 30 or 40 people go out and pick it and dry it. My father said our grandfather used to go out with a horse and wagon back in the day. That would have been in the 40s. Fertilizer in the garden was the one thing that they used to use it for back in the day because you didn't go to town and get it because it was it's over a 40 kilometer drive. It's got lots of nutrients in it. It's got, I think it's a natural source of iodine and there's potassium and stuff in it which plants used to grow and then just the decaying process. When you pick it, some people, I like me, I'll rinse it off, some of the salt. Some people say if you fry it or smoke it, it tastes like bacon in a way, or a lot of people put it in their salads and stuff. I just snack on it. I kind of posted a thing on Facebook not that long ago in a community group because the things that I used to do as a kid, like going out getting dells, fishing, any other stuff, gardening and all that, I kind of bring it back to the community especially now that it's a source of food and then soon as I went out and posted that I had people ask me when the best time to go out is when and sure enough the next day there was 25 people out there getting it.